to jump over to Project Triangle Strategy. So let's move. Oh, oh, actually, I might have to do one small change. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there was almost a, a stream spoiler. There was almost a stream spoiler. But now we can go to check out the demo. Triangle Strategy Project Debut Demo. You know. <laughs> so let's let's jump right in. Thank you for your download. This is a special pre-release version comprising chapters excerpted from the middle of the game. As you'll be joining the story in progress, you may find it difficult to fully grasp the events happening around you. However, we encourage you to enjoy the atmosphere of the game world. Battles have been ramped up in difficulty somewhat to allow you to fully experience the depth of the combat system in a limited number of stages. Experiment with different strategies and triumph. The name is still horrendous. I hope they don't keep this. Because again, I know I mentioned this, but they kept On the, the last time. On the continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzat, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Now, this game feels like when I saw the first little glimpse of the trailer where it's the the scale with three things, uh, I just thought, oh, it's is this a DLC for Fire Emblem Three Houses? And here we go, we have this three house theme, and it's a strategy game, a turn-based strategy game, just like Fire Emblem Three Houses in a square grid. So I know some games have a square grid, a lot of Western games have a hexagon grid, um, so this is very similar to uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Anyway, just a little side. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. Peace came to Norzelia, but only briefly. Shortly after assuming power in Esfrost, Archduke Gustadolf launched a surprise invasion of the neighboring kingdom of Glenbrook. That's a crazy. The might of the Esfrostian forces, under the command of the formidable General of Lora, easily overwhelmed Glenbrook's crown city. Before any could comprehend the meaning of what was happening, the once proud Whiteholm Castle had fallen. Learning of the attack, House Wolfort, highest of the three high houses of Glenbrook, rushes to the royal family's aid. Leading the charge is none other than young Sarah Noah, who has only just taken over the mantle of lordship from his father. At his side are Benedict, House Wolfort's advisor and a veteran of the Salt Iron War, Roland, the younger prince of Glenbrook and Saranoa's childhood friend, and Frederica, his betrothed, who hails from the very duchy they now call foe. Ooh, drama. A new war is kindling, fanned by the unwavering convictions held by the rulers of these lands. And though they may not yet know it, Saranoa and his comrades are heading straight into the pyre. That was a lot of exposition. Esfrost's forces have breached the once proud walls of Whiteholm, and now overrun its majestic halls, leaving only death and destruction in their wake. 
Like bloodthirsty beasts, they search, eager to carry out Archduke Gustadolf's orders to kill any member of the royal family on sight. With the very future of the kingdom hanging in the balance, Serenoa hurries to the throne room as fast as his legs can carry him. Chapter 6, Remember Me. Alright. That was a lot of exposition. I guess if they're going to throw you in the middle of the game, that makes sense. I just hope that they don't do that in the middle of the game also. Hello, man. <laughs> I know you arrived a lot earlier, but... The Night of Air Frost's Invasion. Do they... Do they mean to hurt us? They will do no such thing, my princess. Not so long as I draw breath. Cease the vainglorious theatrics. The city is mine now, and not a soul loyal to his grace still lives. You are all that remains. Not even the Dawn Spear can hope to triumph against such odds. You talk and talk, but do you have the courage to test your words? This is folly, Gustadolf. What madness has possessed you? Is this how you would take revenge for what befell your father? Nothing so petty as that, Regna. The war and all its atrocities should remain buried in the past. Then what drives you to commit new ones? To tear down the future we labored so long to achieve? Do you think High Sant will stand idly by while Glenbrook burns? I shudder to think what ends you hope to achieve by such vile means. <laughs> you always did lack imagination. However, not even I foresaw the opportunity this foolish partnership would afford me. As for Hyzant, she shall meet the same fate as your beloved kingdom before long. Whatever your aims may be, you'll never... Oh! Father! Blood. Are you hurt? Roland? Brother? You imbecile! Why do you return? Be grateful to see me for once. I wasn't about to leave you to these wolves. You stone-headed brat! If it isn't my dear Frederica and her newly betrothed, and you've brought friends. Stand down at once. On the honor of House Walford, we shall not let the royal family come to harm. So you're the young one. You have courage, if not much sense. I'll give you that. Brother, what is the meaning of this? I am sorry for forcing this unpleasant scene upon you, Frederica. I had to take action. Sooner than anticipated. Action? What do you... That's all when you get the actual game, so they just skip you to the middle. Listen well. I, Gustadolf Esfrost, do hereby condemn the King of Glenbrook and his agents for their treacherous deeds. Scheming to claim the riches of the Grand Norzellian Mines their own, they slaughtered my dear cousin Dragan in cold blood. For this most heinous crime, and for shattering the trust between our nations out of malice, I declare their punishment must be swift and final. So this is the lie you would weave. What mummery is this? Dragan was killed by... Silence, my lord. Benedict? Benedict Cumberbatch! I commend you for delivering the traitorous Prince Roland to me. He, too, must answer for his crimes. Hand him over, and House Wolfort may yet see itself through this unscathed. You are my dear sister's husband-to-be. Bend the knee, and no harm shall befall. I will do no such thing. We won't be party to your trip. Your father was ever a thorn in my side. You seem intent on repeating that history. However, I fear you will not live long enough to accomplish it. General of Laura, kill them all. Yes, my lord. Stop! I won't let you... That dude was weak. <laughs> Sir Maxwell, leave me. Take Roland to safety. <sighs> yes, my lord. Whoa. My prince, with me. 
I can't leave them. Step aside, Sir Maxwell. My lord, we must flee at once. But his grace. Roland. Lord Wolfhart. There is no saving me. The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands now. Father! My prince, follow us. But I... Damn it all! After them. You would once again see Norzelia bathed in blood, Gustavov? Truly, you are lost. This land has long been lost, Regna. But it need be no longer. A lot of talking for not much happening. This is where Sir Maxwell would have us wait. He is readying the boat for our escape as we speak. A wise decision. No doubt the river is our only hope of getting out of the city alive. The streets are overrun with as frosty soldiers. Our foe no doubt searches for us on the other side of this very gate. <laughs> as frosty. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine if your country made like had a word like like frosty. You'd be made fun of forever. Anyway. Then we wait here and pray for Sir Maxwell's swift return. Father. Freddy. Cordelia. I thought it would be said Cordelia. Cordelia? What is she doing with us? She's with the enemy! What? No, I had no idea. Yeah, I feel bad for her. Her brother's is like, hey, I'm gonna kill everyone. Whatever. Lies. It was your own brother that attacked the city. People have weird names. Her name is Huet. Is that a real name? If I had any idea he was planning such atrocities, I would have stopped him. He's... I know not what's possessed him. It was probably a crystal that we will have to retrieve from his heart. My lady speaks the truth. We are as shocked and torn by this turn of events as you. Enough, Hewitt. We can't be clawing at each other's throats with the yes frosty army looking to hunt us down like dogs. My emotions got the better of me for a moment. Forgive me. This this isn't very this isn't very Yeah, Gustadolf. That's another thing, too, when I was thinking about his name and Frederica or whatever her name is. The origins, and you could probably talk a lot more about this since you, you take linguistics and stuff. They don't have, sem seem to have, like, if these are separate nations, they don't have to see, seem to have, like, a similar origin. So if they were to speak even different languages, it doesn't seem like it would make sense. So, this is a little bit all over the place. Huet means no ill, my lady. Her fellow members of the Kingsguard were slain before her eyes. And, like, they're throwing a lot of... They're throwing a lot of exposition and being like, Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm sad. No. Oh, now, I'm happy. let us focus so. on the present. Prince Roland's safety and escape are our main concerns. It's It hasn't really gotten me yet. Of course. I want to... I want to see the gameplay. Let's see how the gameplay is, but... These are trying times, but we mustn't let emotions cloud our judgment. Wait, aren't we running away from, like, the soldiers? I know that the boat is supposed to pick us up, but shouldn't we, like, be going? Just saying. Because everyone seems to be chilling. Benedict, right now. you stopped me from speaking the truth of Dragon's death. To what end? Gustadolf would frame Glenbrook for Lord Dragan's murder and claim it as pretext for his invasion. If he knew we witnessed the truth, our heads would already be on pikes. It would seem he still intends to put them there. This seems like it would be a great beginning for the game, too. Like, dude just takes over a nation, boom, that's where your adventure starts. That this is chapter six, so you're probably gonna see all of this unfold. Feels like it would be a very slow start to the game. And that worries me as well. Because you spat in the face of his demands. What we know could expose his claims as the treacherous lies they are. If it came to light that Gustadolf orchestrated his own cousin's murder, no one would dare stand by his side. 
Indeed, however, words have little substance on their own, especially when weighed against the power and influence the Archduke commands. Your truth would be taken as the pathetic ramblings of a desperate man. Once again, your wisdom makes me feel the fool. No, we are all fumbling through these dark times. You spoke and acted as the Lord of House Woolfort, and did so admirably. And yet my actions have put everyone in danger. Father would have known better. Let us look forward, my lord, not back. There are truths yet cloaked in the shadows. We must survive and see them brought to light, for these truths shall be the weapons by which we lay Esfrost low. And here's the thing about dialogue. I'm no dialogue expert or anything like that, but it, that is something I enjoy looking at and analyzing in films and stuff like that. And this is very wordy. Now, there is a difference between good wordy, where you can be good wordy, and just bad wordy. And this is not very good. Because, like, you, you can have people talk a lot and say a lot, but they are saying a lot. Or you can have people talk a lot, but not say a lot. <laughs> and a lot of this is talking a lot and not really saying much. So, or really just kind of... Like... Being exposition for emotion. But especially emotion... And especially in a visual, audio-visual medium, it shouldn't be your words that describe the emotion. It should be the way you talk. It should be the way... So it's like, when the hu Huet or whatever, she's like, Oh, I'm angry, yeah. And then she's like, oh, no, I'm sad now, oh. She's sad because she saw her soldiers killed in, in the front of her. Like, did we, you need to say that? Could we we probably couldn't assert that oh she's the she saw them killed but you could tell okay she's probably if th obviously the dialogue would probably have to be restructured in a different way but like you should be able to tell that this is a moment of distress for her and stuff like that instead of just having to explain to us exactly what happened or this like oh uh, benedict cumberbatch why why did you why do you stop me from saying this? Oh, it's because this, this, and then you just explain it for a billion years. <laughs> there are better ways of doing this. Thank you, Benedict. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. See, like, did he need to say this? Don't we already know that he wants to see everyone through safely and that he's going to do anything he can? Why is he saying this line right now? What is what is the reason? This is all stuff we already know. <laughs> I know you will, my lord. See? Let us we do too. Maxwell's arrival. We also know as the player. Otherwise you wouldn't have stormed into the king's room to try to stop it. Like you've already told this to us. Sir Maxwell shall prove true to his word. We must be patient. The flow of the game comprises multiple phases. Between story scenes and battles, there will be an exploration phase. In this phase, you may move freely about areas to gather information from the people around you. Obtain items, review mechanisms, and terrain features that may serve you in battle. To end the exploration phase and progress with the story, press the L button. Okay. That this is weird too. Check on everyone. Okay. It's kind of a This isn't search, this is climb. <laughs> okay. So I could just skip this. But again, I feel with games, I think we've moved past it being so blocked off like this. Okay, this is the section where you just check on people. This is the section where you... And games that still have this, like, persona, what they'll do is they'll put time limits. They'll put a bunch of other stuff on top of it, so you're not just checking on them for flair, just checking on them for whatever. You're checking on them for a gameplay reason. 
right now what they've presented to us, how they've presented it to us, it just feels like they're they're like, okay, check on people, or if you don't want to explore any of that, just just conclude explore. It feels very pointless. Franny, father, what has happened? Damn it all! We have what have we done to deserve this thing? And and this feels like all filler stuff. From we'll see, we'll see. Benedict was right. Behind these doors, there might be dozens of those bastards just clamoring to take our place. Yes, we've nothing to do till Sir Maxwell comes calling without whatever. Okay. On his own sister's wedding day, no less, and on the eve of a new age of harmony. Again, this line, taking that this is ep this is chapter six. We're probably gonna see the wedding day. We're gonna like, this might not be a necessary line. What does he hope to gain from all this? Our. What grudge could my brother possibly bear against Glenbrook? Okay. Though the duchy aims to remain unclear, it stands to reason our own demesne, demesen as well as may soon come under siege. What in the world is that? <laughs> I don't know that word. Still, at present, it is our safest destination and Prince Roland's only refuge. Okay. Who are you? I hear footsteps in the distance. Our pursuers, pursuers draw even closer. We won't be safe here for long. See, this would be a cool... A cool sound design. You just hear... In the, in the background. That's way more ominous than having just someone say that. And then the line could be... I, something like, I hear that. You don't have to say, I hear the footsteps. You could s make a comment on the thing we're already hearing. Like, can you hear that? The sound of our demise. Or something that you don't have to, like, spell it out. You know? Obviously, that example, my example, wasn't very good. But that's just something I just popped off out of the top of my head. But if you had time to write it and put it on the script, hopefully you'd be able to... Sorry I'm criticizing this <laughs> to no end. It's just that, especially with games where you are reading and you are supposed to be so deep in the story, I think it's valuable. And especially one that where the developers themselves said they wanted critique, I think it's valuable to really go into this and really think about all these little details. Anyone else? Okay, so this is the only person that has an economy. So, we'll see. You wet. We are the last alive who can keep Prince Roland safe. At a time like this. Flee by yourself. <laughs> what? 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 If you're gonna give options and i one thing i really liked about the trailer is that they said the options will really matter this first option makes zero sense with any of the characters right now our cells as Serenoa, like sure with a lot of games they just they can give you but i feel like i don't i don't know maybe i'm i'm out of place saying this but like she doesn't want to flee she's like okay we gotta keep prince roland safe we don't want to flee. Why are we telling her to flee? Flee by yourself if you must. We need your blade. Like, she's not saying anything. Like, if she was like... Oh, I don't know what to do. Then that could be like... But she's like... Hard set on... Save... Keeping Prince Roland safe. This shouldn't affect her opinion. If she... Because of how emotional she was in like... Oh, how dare you... This should never convince her. We need your blade. Let us fight together, and Prince Roland must survive, even if we do not. Okay, let's see what happens if we say this. Does it affect? Does she leave? Because then that makes no sense to what she's been so far, and who we've been so far. Are you mad? I would sooner die. Okay. I will be His Highness's shield, and I shall not break. The boat should arrive soon enough. In the meantime, there's only one thing we can. Must. 
In Orzelia, three major guiding convictions prevail. Utility, morality, and liberty. This will take the form of invisible parameters influenced by the choices you make throughout the game. These, this, these parameters will not be reflected visually. But didn't a scale that show up and tell me? Your decisions will shape Serenoa's convictions, as well as influence which companions may choose to join this cause. Okay. They have said, had said this earlier. I went on my little rant. So that makes sense. If you're going to have someone that is more neutral, but from the... And then I have a different problem if this is a more neutral character. Because <laughs> then the things he said before, the things we didn't have a say on, those we should have a say on because we would have maybe different outlook. Alright. And exploration, yes. Curses! Where is the mountain? <laughs> They've been prompted. Main story. With their pursuers closing in, Serenoa re re retinue. Serenoa's retinue puts their faith in Sir Maxwell, who has made arrangements for an escape. I have never heard that word. Does it mean like team or remaining people? <laughs> That's my guess. Come oh, on. My prince, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I've managed to procure a boat for our escape. It should arrive anon. Thank you, Sir Maxwell. Would that I could have done more. You did well to stand against Gustadolf. Your father would have been proud to see it. Let's save the pleasantries until we're through the gate, huh? Everyone ready? We are. Open the gates, Eridor! Whatever you say, my lord. Here's hoping we can make it through without those bastards on the shore noticing. Over there! <laughs> I hope they don't notice. God, they're right there. <laughs> it's like a comedy. <laughs> uh, they there's were too right. many of them. We need to turn back. <laughs> I hope they don't notice us <laughs> right in front of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Do we close the gates up. again? There's nowhere to run. Okay. Damn it! They shut us in. Okay. Is this it? If this is where I fall, I'm taking these S frosty bastards with me. Dude, there's like five of them. Six. There's like nine of us. Eight. Nine. Don't be so quick to throw your life away, my prince. Yes, we haven't lost hope yet. The boat will arrive shortly. We only need fend them off until then. Can we do that? I fail to see why not. If you lend us your sword, that is. And I'll say this: the voice acting is pretty good. I, I actually think that they're selling the lines. The lines just aren't very good. Hello, BB Bath, BB. As if I would do aught else. Form around the prince. Protect him. The prince is on the bridge. Seize him. Ooh, pincer move. They pour from the castle like rats. I shall defend the rear. It is bad. The script writing is bad. Which is a shame. You know it. Two keys to victory in battle in this game are positioning and initiative. I don't know. <laughs> positioning. 
and terrain can be used to your advantage. I'm trying to read this. <laughs> Not too long ago, I played Catherine, and I love that narrator whenever he's explaining something, and I'm like, oh, that voice. Attacks from behind your foe or from high ground will deal greater damage. I've got the high ground, Anakin. The order in which units take action is determined by their speed attribute. Upcoming turn order is displayed via uh, or via an is it via or via? Either one, it doesn't matter, Rods. An indicator at the bottom of the battle screen. Keep a careful eye on the turn order and review your allies' abilities when deciding how to deploy and advance your units. Okay. Unit placement, encampment, what's this? We're in a camp now! At your camp, you can make ready for battle at your encampment. By... Purchasing items and obtaining quietuses. Another word I have no. Many additional activities will be possible at camp in the full release version. Okay. Also, at your camp, you can make ready for the battle at your encampment by purchasing items. By saying at your camp and then at your encampment, isn't that redundant? Or am I missing something? <laughs> I'm tearing this thing apart. <laughs> oh, come learn the ways of war, have ye? I, I reckon I can oblige. Trade post, quick link. Okay, I can't buy that because I'm poor. If ye'd learn more, ye'd know where to find me. In my tent, apparently. Hey, hey. My research proceeds apace, and I feel I am on the verge of yet another breakthrough. Expect great things, if you are not already. Okay. Ah! Look at this dude. Portly Merchant. Come on, come on, Lionel has procured for you to only the finest wares from lands near and far. Quietuses are things that have a soothing in Nice. Or kill you. That's the second view. Oh, cool. We could have a recovery pellet. How much? 50? Okay, I'll buy two. Huh. And then I'll buy two of these. And I guess I'll buy two more of these. There we go. If my wares do not meet your every need, then let the hand rain wrap on me. Jeez, dude, <laughs> calm down. I'd like nothing more than to tend to your weapons, but I fear I haven't quite finished my training. Pray bear with me a bit longer. Provide me with the necessary materials, and I'd be honored to temper and repair your weapons. Pray call upon me at any time. Okay. And then we have this lady, I can't... Are you serious? I can't talk to her across... Do I have to go right beside her? Who? Who? Which store can you not talk to someone from the counter? Which store do you go to first? <laughs> anyway. Come to wet your whistle? Or in search of information? Either way. You've come to the right place. You can bet your blade. I, I'll have a list of errands ready for ye when you open for business. Come back then, will ye? Will ye? Okay. Inventory. We have Firestone, deals fire damage, okay. Ring of Vitality, equipped by Bill. Okay, we have stuff that's equipped. Allow, okay, defeat conditions. Allow Roland to fall. <laughs> Wind, breezy. Oh, that's interesting. See, like, it seems like the game has interesting mechanics. Uh, I say. 
It seems like the game has interesting mechanics. Camera setting. Checking stuff. We'll see. Commence the battle. Oh, I didn't move my placement. That's a mistake. I for completely forgot to move myself. That's a problem. The gate to the drawbridge is shut tight. We must find a way to open it, and quickly. There should be a mechanism nearby. Leave our pursuers to me. Open the gate, whatever it takes. There should be a mechanism nearby. Like, the one we used to open the gate previously? In the world? Board the boat from this drawbridge to make your escape. Defeat all surrounding foes to ensure safe passage. Okay. Pull the lever. Yeah. Okay. To open the gate, move a unit to square adjacent to the Break through the gate and capture the drawbridge to make your escape before the enemy surround. When moving a friendly unit, some squares will be colored purple. This means the square is within the enemy's attack range. If an enemy is able to attack a friendly unit next turn, a red line connecting them will appear. Take care to move vulnerable units out of harm's way. Okay. I will end this. So I could. So. Okay. How, how do I. Detail. What's your deal? Um, you're a dagger person. You're a spy. Okay, so you are a frontline and person, but you're kind of like a, a, a tricky frontline. So I'm going to actually put you up, to, up here. Oh, it's ranged. Can I hit that? Too far. Yeah, I can only hit around me. But it's a ranged thing. Oh, I can go down here. Hmm. Oh. Oh. This is fun. Alright, so I will... Take up. He's a spear knight. The lance. Rush. Double rocks. I'm gonna go right in front of this. I'm gonna double thrust. This is a single. Yeah, I'm not gonna face Here my I back. Come. What's your deal? This is oh, this is a scout. A scouty scout. Can I fly? I'm not a bird. <laughs> Can I fly? Uh, TP injection. Grant two toilet paper. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go blinding arrow. I'm on a bird, why can't I fly? <laughs> Let us pry out their weakness. Strategist. Okay. It's his deal. Cane sword. Vitality. Raging beast. Initial toilet paper plus. Okay. Um I have a feeling I probably don't want to get this guy at the front. Put him here. To put... I don't think that guy's gonna come toward me. A bulwark. Raise the allies' physical defense and magic defense for 
three turns. I'm gonna increase Roland's. Ooh, a little right now. Hey, Star. Welcome. I got, I got really, really, uh, Forward. into the game here. I didn't even notice you walk in. How have you been doing? Is this soldier? I'm gonna, I'm gonna front line this dude. What's the latest? Deal physical damage to an enemy and delay its turn. That's I'm doing well. I've just been honestly criticizing this game nonstop. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for the game. They asked for it, so. On my honor as the dawn speed. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that guy's mask, and I don't get to control him. He's so cool. I'm blushing. <laughs> Shall we begin? I think it's a giant raven. Oh, it's a chicken. Ooh. Oh, look at her. Look at her little picture. She's like a Harry Potter. She has a little wand. Physician? I guess she's the opposite. So what's your deal? <laughs> she has a rod. <laughs> All right. I guess it's me. <gasps> it's me? Has the round glasses? Is rod? <laughs> okay, so... She's pretty safe. Cure wounds. Everyone's pretty. Oh, oh, this is simple. To so just go to your items. Usually games like this, you have to go through so many menus to get to your items. That's pretty simple. Can't complain. Come at me! Come at me, bro! Yeah, it's a fire rock. Kite ship. Deal physical damage to a single foe. Since this is a shield dude, I'm gonna have to work. I am a scholar. Um come up, okay, he's a magic dude. He's bad against fire. Wall of ice. Okay, so we have someone that's weak. Too bad I can't really reach him. I will end this. Conjurer. Interesting. Flame shield. Oh. So close. Okay, I'm not gonna. I wanted to give it to my shield, dude. I guess I will move her, move her one one farther forward, so I can give at least flame shield to my front guy. I'm gonna have two of them be extra shielded. Splendid. <laughs> yes. He. It would be awesome. Be really good if the scholar had sleep as well as their ability. I would actually really like that. Yeah, she has 87 HP. I think I can do this. I'm gonna be aggressive with her. Ooh, ooh, I get to go again. Roland the Bust. I specifically. Okay. What was my range with this lady again? Uh, I'm in I'm in range of Okay, perfect. Perfect. Blinding arrow. Deal physical damage to an enemy and have a chance to blind them. If I can blind the shield bearer, dude. Oh, look at her go with the little bird. Are you blind? 
He's blind. Ultimate ability pushes up glasses. <laughs> you haven't even seen my final form. Grabs dictionary. No, that film is bigger than mine. My level best. Strategist. Okay, I will make it fart fire. Fart fire with fire. Um. Oh yeah, he has a cane. Okay, he he can bulk up anyone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put him. Um, how far can you bulk bulk up people? Okay, you can bulk up people pretty far. Oh no, this is good then. This is good. So I'm gonna put you here. What's Raging Beast? Raise an ally's strength. Ooh. So I'm gonna do that for Roland because Roland's gonna have better defense and better attack. On my honor as the dawn I wanna take I want I want Oh no. Oh no. For the honor of House Walford! For the honor of my booty. Uh, delayed strike. That hit the mark. You're open. Oh no, she's gonna die. I have failed you. I'm just waiting on the bridge. Uh oh. It's the prince! Seize him! Quickly now, before more arrive. Cool heads shall prevail. Alright. Who's this physician? Let me check your pulse. Cure wounds? Yes. Sorry to worry. He's doing like a Ooh. I'll take you on. Will you? Okay. So I'm actually gonna go here. And I will allow myself to be flanked. Yo, physical damage. Knock them back. Provoke. So, oh, why didn't I get a second attack with that? Scholar. Hello. Um... I can... Freeze some. That way. Uh, wait, how far could I move? Um... What if... What if I get... Who's next? For victory! Woo! He's extra strong, extra beefcakey, and extra double thrust. Oh, 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 oh! I, I am gonna do double thrust. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. And then double thrust. And though it's a single thrust. This battle is ours. I come up. So what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna go on the diagonal. Boom. Send a blinding arrow to this dude. Or... Or... No. Okay, now two of them are blind. Flame shield. Who would... Okay, this dude is probably... We'll get him yet! Oh yeah, he did say he was gonna take care of the booty. So, it actually makes... Makes sense. Let us pry out there. Uh, 
Uh, what was the deal with this dude? He, he could bulwark and cane sword. We'll bulwark. Uh, someone that's weak. Are you weak? There's plenty of life. Oh, you get. Incredible. A few things. I shall protect you. Ooh, ooh, he's gonna hit them in the booty. <laughs> he actually is well. doing the booty strategy. Look at that. You're an open book. Defeat is not an option. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I guess that kind of that kind of makes sense. I guess. <laughs> yes, you could say that. Wait, can I? No. I'm just gonna keep delayed striking everyone. Seems to be really working. Uh oh. He's going for my booty. I guess it does matter if you hit them from the front or from the back. Good try. I think everyone's blind. Alright. What I will do... Yeah, this guy's super powered up, so... I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna double the thrust with him. What the hell is the Rhino Bulwark? A Patronus? Yes, I completely misread what you said, but yes. Do I get to go again? This battle is ours. I'm gonna use the bird lady to open the gate. The it's gate. Open. Go. Don't let them escape. Capture the royal family! Protect the prince! No matter how many come, our blades will keep them in. They've overrun the bridge already. Very well. We cut our way through. Quietuses don't, do not use up a turn and can be triggered instantaneously. Single quietus can be used only once in a given battle. Okay. Time to go to... Let me heal your wounds. Let me heal your boot. Oh, that's me. Who needs heal? Oh, actually, everyone's pre doing pretty much all right. If that one girl hadn't died, um, my utmost thanks. I'll take you on. Um. This guy seems to be pretty powerful, so I'm gonna let him stay behind a little bit. So it falls to me. It falls to the scholar to the work. I will wall of ice. Okay, create an obstacle on target square that extend. Okay. I think everyone's a little bit too bunched together. Man, he's the guy who's weak to ice, and I don't have enough mana. Oh, oh, oh. R for secret rep. TP injection. Grant two TP for to an ally. Ooh, ooh, yes! Wait. If I go here... Ooh! Yeah, I'm totally gonna use that. I'm gonna give him a bunch of toilet paper. Um... Yes. Because we have someone who's actually weak to this. No, the toilet paper are entering. Yeah. Oh. 
And yes, I do think so. It is a rhino. On my honor as the dawn spear. Ooh, triple thrust. One more. That guy's too cool. Oh, he dropped a little tear. Did that guy just grab the tear? Oh no. When choose when choosing an action, an icon will appear over any enemy unit that are particularly susceptible. Okay. Too bad my fire lady just died. Fallen enemies will drop loot. Move an anal I see a path to victory. Um I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna Okay, so no, I will not do that. I will go here, use Bulwark on Serenoa, become a rhino. So now he's super beefcake. I'm gonna go behind this dude. Gonna go ooh, longsword. Perish! And tell them to perish. Is that what cool characters do, I guess? That dude just keeps going back and forth. Ooh, that's powerful. Uh, I'm just gonna go over here. Oh. This battle is ours. I'm gonna start moving everyone. Let's deal physical damage to an enemy and have a chance to blind them. Okay, I can't reach anyone. No one in mind. You have a bird, lady. You, you should be able to go so far. On my honor as the dawn spear. This this dude is. Cool heads shall prevail. Okay, physician. Uh, cure wounds. On myself. And I'm gonna start moving this dude. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Uh bulwark. Who's not bulwark? So that means, like, the strategy, Beefcake Serenoa, new band. Yeah, I like that. Oh no, our scholar's gonna, gonna die next. Who are you being? <gasps> and the wall of ice. Right here. Can at least block them for a little bit. Oh, careless of me. The gameplay is interesting. I mean, it's not something I don't think I'd ever stream this. Because it takes a long time to like finish a battle. And not much is happening while you're doing that. From where shall we strike? And I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm into that yet. Hawk dive. What's this? Deal physical damage to an enemy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is back him up with one, just so we don't get hit. You, I can come up here. Rush. Move four squares in a straight line, dealing physical damage to any enemy. Okay. They do have defense. So I think I'm up. Yeah. I shirk from no danger. Oh, I leveled up. Here I come. 
Okay. If I went here. Okay, I'm right at the edge of being able to hit someone, but I can't. That's hard. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like this would be, I, I, there are type of, types of games for me that for me are like play in bed games. Maybe this might be one of those. I enjoy playing it in bed. <laughs> Just chilling. I must hold firm. This dude is OP. There is no mercy on the okay, so we're what we're gonna do here is put you over here, bulwark our friend up here again. Gonna keep Ready them protected. I shall do what I can. Here, can I cure? Oh. I'm so close to being able to do it. Can't quite get to him. Okay. I want to stay protected because she is a high value target. Like, clearly, they like going for her. So I'm not gonna. I'll take you on! Okay. Um, I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I'm just gonna run away. Stop looking backwards, dude. Where was I? Ooh, 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 scholar. What was the scholar's deal again? Hmm. Um. From where shall we strike? All right. Now I'll confirm. Physical damage to an enemy, damage dealt will increase. Okay. Ooh, ooh. That hit the mark. Leave it to me. To lead, I must grow. It's not over yet. Okay. So. I want to confirm here. I'm not looking quite well. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna retreat a little bit. I actually might want my booty still. These are very booty thirsty soldiers, so I'm I'll try this. gonna get my prince booty out of there. This battle is ours. Bird lady though, bird lady's crazy. Bird lady can do anything she wants. So she can go and boom, blinding arrow. This the blinding arrows, I need to be able to get them in. Because they're they're the lifesavers. And like I actually do find this type of strategy fun. But again, not for not for a stream. Thing. Yeah. Mm, blind people. I must hold firm. Actually, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Not that what I meant. Well. Let us pry out their um. Okay. Let's see. Okay, bird lady is in kind of a vulnerable position. Incredible. So you can move out. No, I'm, I'm, I'm cozy and safe here. I'm staying. For victory. I'm actually moving there. Uh, 
Um, I'm actually gonna move here, then rush. Time to take flight. I'm gonna push all the way back. And then, oh, that's a little bit too far. Right. Blinding arrow from this dude. Victory is ours. The winds of change are blowing. You get learned shadow stitching. No! No! <laughs> Spirit Rhino! I just displayed my blue my bloody. My bloody and all its flavor. I mean, it's all all its glory. That sounds weird if I say flavor. Uh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Ooh, ooh, wait. No, that's that's dangerous. I don't want to. I'm actually okay, Sting. I'm actually gonna turn this way because there's a guy Let behind. Alright. Now I can actually start healing people. I'm gonna go right there. Cure wounds. Who needs it next? Okay, so maybe I It's a lot of strategy. Cure wounds. Oh working! Yeah, move forward one. Sure wound. Back up. Thank you. What are you guys thinking of this game? <laughs> I'll be honest, one of my favorites so far is the design of the characters. I actually kinda like the design of the character. I'm over. That's one thing that I'm like, oh I, I like that. Pretty good. Pretty good. I thought they actually got really good talent, too, for the voice acting. Another thing that I thought was... Okay, I'm gonna freeze these. Ooh, I'm gonna get three of them with it. Hmm. Ooh! The Scholar is the most powerful person in the game. I must hold firm. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Okay, um, who needs... Fuck. I'm actually gonna... Move back one. Bulwark. What was Raging Beast? Uh... Yeah, I'm doing... I'm doing our... Our healer. Well done! Yeah, see, I knew it. She's presenting herself. Impossible back at you. To try. My turn. You want for my booty? I'll go for yours. Dot potato. I'm gonna move him to a very, like, aggressive position. Here. Can I go right outside his range? Ah, my range sucks! That dude has so much range! What's this? Deal physical damage to an enemy and have a chance to immobilize him for two turns. Actually. Like trap. To me. Did you see that? For the honor of House Wolfer. I'm gonna go here so I can flank. Yeah, this guy. Gone. I struck true.
Need to get them this turn. Need to get that last guy this cool turn. Heads shall prevail. Your wound, Circle of Healing. Yeah. Oh, I see him. That's the stuff. You won't beat me. Provoke. <sighs> He's been mostly useless to me in this fight. Time for some research. All right. Scholar time, literally the most powerful character in the game. This I think I won. The discovery. He learned frosty fetters. Victory! Alright, that's it. <laughs> that's me playing this game. It was interesting, but eh. I don't think I'd buy this. <laughs> As it stands, I I would not buy this game. I'll let this cutscene go through. But... The boat arrives. Come with speed. <laughs> with speed. Will you leave your brother unavenged? Oh no, she's. Uh... You. No. Trophy writing! Our greatest weakness! We beat all of them, but you come back because of bad writing. Everyone's no. coming back! We Leave just- this place. The Archduke will be content with your father's head. We just finished finding ourselves to get to that bridge. Now we just walk back off of the bridge. Everyone came no. back! S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Your Highness. A shame. You might have lived a long. So long as I stand, you'll do him no harm. Everyone. Sir Maxwell. My Prince, you are responsible for more than just your own life now. You are a leader and must be the beacon. Oh, he's doing his sacrifice started. speech because he's gonna say, I will stay. And then every one of them, probably the Prince, will be like, No, Maxwell. You can't stay! I love you or something! And he's like, no, it's my duty to protect. Oh. My friends of House Wolfort, I leave Prince Roland in your care. Let me go! Release him to me, and there may be more. Wait, weren't we jumping on the boat? Tis you who should be seeking mercy. Must you do this? Very well. Oh, we're somehow on the boat. Oh. The wind is kind of pushing into the sail. Pushing against the sail, I guess. You were only toying with me at the tourney. Only a fool shows what they can do when the stakes are so trifling. I could not have said it better myself. Ooh. Oh wow, we're going full of anime. Did he kill him? This dude is cool! How do you still stand? Because I am not human. We are evil now because we made a pact with the monster, and now we're stronger than ever. You were this realm's fiercest warrior, Dawn Spear. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins. Oh. Oh, that's what happened. I thought he just faded. 
<laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. But okay, I, I guess. You could have animated him being thrown off the bridge. Alright, so that was Project Triangle Project Strategy. As it stands right now, and if- so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Oh, I need to press this. Ace Frost seized control of the Crown City. Threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron. Domains, that's for that. Oh. oh, looks very digital. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Okay, we're, we're not playing chapter. And that's it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of this demo. It's interesting, but... Like, they, they really said, oh, we want feedback. We want to know what you guys want, what you guys think we could improve. And I think there's a lot to improve. I think gameplay-wise, it, that's its strongest suit right now. And if this is the same studio that brought us uh, Octopath Traveler, I think that that makes sense because their writing was never the strongest. They had very strong ideas, very strong gameplay concepts, but not ever very strong writing. And I think that that should be their focus going forward if they already have such a nice firm base. And even then, the gameplay is very standard for a strategy game like this. Uh, even old series do more interesting things than this. This is very, like, rock, paper, scissor style. Like, oh, this guy's weak to fire. Oh, this guy's weak to the. Um, I feel like Fire Emblem does a more dynamic weaknesses and strengths than this seems to do in the limited experience I got. So... They could keep that strong base, but uh, hopefully, like, the thing that they're bringing to is, like, the, those cards that are your ultimates, and essentially just gave me two TPs. Uh, so it's not the most creative. It's very, it feels very cookie cutter. And while it has this cool, innovative look, which I love, which mixes the sprite-based look with a more 3D polygonal look, I feel like that's the only new thing that it has going for it. Whereas I would love to see this look with given to a studio like um like Fire Emblem Studio. A studio that is doing these new creative things with this genre. So I don't know. So that's kind of my that's my current thoughts and impressions on the game so far. I think it has a good base, and the strength right now is the look of it, is the style, the visual style. But otherwise, it, it just feels very cookie-cutter, with things we've seen before in the genre, and with the narrative that we've seen before, like... So. Alright. I'm not even gonna really break-break, I'm just gonna transition over to Mario, so just give me one moment while I do that transition, because it's all on this.